Alright guys, um, we're here at the 2nd District Police Station in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. These are the guys who uh, chased Sterling Brown for parking and disabled parking after hours, our Milwaukee Bucks basketball player. Here's Byron Park, because as you can see, it says do not enter, police vehicles only, and police personnel. So in other words, it means not only about the people, but personnel. But here we have Byron Park, and this is a Milwaukee Park. So I am on public property in the Milwaukee Park. Gonna take a walk through. Um, just happen to be in the neighborhood, and uh, I've been wanting to get through and uh, do an audit in the second district. So as long as I was passing by, I figured I checked this one off the list of the places I'd like to audit. So, you know, with this park being right next door, it's really nice. Because we get access to all this that we otherwise normally wouldn't have access to. But this is public property that I am on. It's a park. Oh, I'm a little out of breath. I was riding my bike doing the Tom Zebra thing. Oh, we got quite a big parking lot here. Uh, so the parking lot comes back to here. Oh, we can actually go all the way around it through the park, which is kind of nice. Oh, we got a little wood duck house. Wood ducks are neat. They got the pretty little thing on their head. So obviously the DNR does a lot of work around here. I've never been back on this side of the park here. <coughs> never knew this was here. So, you see, oh, this is where we park our personal vehicles, right in the back. There's the exit to the Sally Port. Oh, look at this. It's just kind of neat. One of the officers got a sense of humor, put a lizard on the fence. So, oh, nice Harley. Um, like I said, oh, there's an officer back there. Oh boy, he's calling on me. That was kind of neat. Saw the lizard. I don't know, he's going to come up and talk to me. Oh boy, I am really not in the mood to go to jail today. I just. And I come down, I have to be getting glasses. I want to come down and take a look at the 2nd District Police Department. And he's walking up this way, so he's definitely following me. I haven't done anything wrong. It's a public park, so I haven't gone on any private property or right here anywhere that I'm not supposed to. There's the officer there. Oh, I thought he was coming after me. I guess he's just going to meet his partner. Got my heart going pitter-patter a little bit. Because I really don't want to go to jail. As you can see, they got cameras all over this place. There's the entrance to the Sally Port. Big old industrial uh, generator here. And, as you can see, they just went on their way. They have no interest in me. I was on public property. Look at all the cameras you got. One, two back here. One over there. One, two more over here. Holy cow. This place is just camered up. And like I said, these are the officers that stay Sterling Brown. So I'm a little nervous. I mean, it was two sergeants on scene. So even their uh, senior officers are not tasing people. And I'm lawfully arresting and detaining them. There's another camera there. So well, that's a trip around the, the precinct. There's a the front. As you can see, it's a rather old building. Not really kept up. Oh, look at ATM inside, ATM inside. Yeah, you can withdraw your cash and we'll take your cash. A couple more cameras in front here. 
Kings in the uh, second district. And there we go into our communications. Nice big communications tower there. And more cameras. And uh, there's the park where we went in to go around. Okay, well, now it's time to man up. Let's go inside and see what they have to say about us looking around and filming inside. Um, I, mean, I haven't really had any problems filming inside uh, the police departments. Um, just going to come in and take a look around. Just like seven district. Couple snack machines. And like the sign said outside, they got the ATM. I'm wanting medication to dispose of. Um, I'm sorry. Here. Okay. So, what is this? Probation and parole meeting office. And just like it's 2nd district, 6th district, we have the uh, City of Milwaukee paid apartments. As you can see, they're quite well used. Swipe many times. In a restaurant, real small place. What do they have here? And we got some literature here that you can take with you if you need be. Human trafficking sign. And help you know, pay your citations there and deposit it in the box. And okay. look him up on CCAP. He's got some stuff back. Uh, you got your desk back. there. Some little, uh, you know, kind of white and white for pain. Call ahead for an appointment. A little snack bar here. Right and that's pretty much all there is to Second District. Very small precinct. Very small. Like I said, though, they carry a big stick. They taste our uh, basketball up there here in Milwaukee. So, that's it. And as you can see, they did respect our right to film. I thought when I saw the officer out back, I got really nervous. <laughs> he came walking up and he was kind of following, but we had uh, less trouble with second district here than we did with six. Six, we had problems with the janitor, but the police always seemed to respect our right to film. I didn't even have a question asked. There was some guy in there asking about wants and warrants for uh, somebody who was investigating, a private investigator of some type. But that's our second district. Um, I just happened to be in the neighborhood coming by. I, my heart wasn't in going to jail, and it wasn't into this audit, but, you know, we got to, the more we film them, the more they're going to respect our rights, so I, I, mean, I was coming by, I felt I had to do it, and, you know, here's, we're back at the parking lot by Byron Park, which allowed us to come back here, you know, I, I like how I've seen where people have done audits and they go back and now you know the sign says and police personnel only because when it says police vehicles it doesn't mean that we can't walk back there but as being police personnel so I would definitely be arrested for trespassing back there and I walked all the way around because there's a park and I got all the personal vehicles in the back as you saw and that's what I was filming when I saw the little lizard on the fence those were all the personal vehicles, and that's when the officer came out the back, and he started following me, but he was just heading to his car, which happened to be in the way I was going. But it got my heart going pitter-patter. So, anyway, this is our 2nd District Police Department, and I guess I would call this a pass. Um, I didn't feel like doing nothing too risky today, but I felt that I had to stop and exercise my right to film. And this is Rude Dog Wisconsin out.